Too many numbers, not enough clarity? KPIs fix that. In this episode, we'll choose a clear north star, map supporting inputs, separate leading from lagging indicators, and set targets and cadence so every chart points to a decision, not noise. Strong KPIs are specific, comparable over time, sensitive to real change, and hard to game. Prioritize outcomes over activities. Weekly active users beats emails sent. Make the metric ownerable. Someone can influence it week to week and observable with reliable data. Pick one North Star that reflects value delivered, like orders delivered on time or returning active users. Then build a metric tree, branches for awareness, acquisition, activation, retention, and revenue. Under each branch, list two to three high leverage drivers. Add guardrails for quality, NPS, defect rate, and cost, unit economics, so you don't win the North Star by eroding trust or margin. Use leading indicators to predict movement, activation rate, first week retention, add to cart rate. Use lagging indicators to confirm impact, monthly revenue, on-time delivery, churn. Kill vanity metrics, big totals without decisions attached, e.g., raw page views. Upgrade them by adding context, rate, trend, segment, so they inform action. North Star. Orders delivered on time. Inputs. In-stock percent. Checkout conversion. Carrier success rate. Average SLA. Repeat purchase rate. Guardrails. Refund rate. Complaint tickets. Average support handle time. If the North Star dips, you can trace which branch moved, stockouts, conversion friction, or delivery delays, and assign owners to interventions. Set targets by blending history, realistic baseline, with ambition, meaningful stretch. Review outcomes monthly. Review inputs weekly in a 15-minute KPI stand-up. Trend, root cause, action, owner, due date. Keep a single-page KPI sheet with definitions, formulas, and data sources. Subscribe for more. Next on Episode 6, we will discuss how to turn this KPI set into an execution-ready dashboard.